Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Zubair Al-Taf Qureshi and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to add a checkpoint firewall in um, EVNG, right? So you need to be connected and go through the whole video and you will see the steps uh, on how to install the EVNG, I mean firewall, um, checkpoint firewall in the EVNG. So first of all, you need to log into the GUI of your EVNG and here you can see that I don't have the EVNG installed in my uh, EVM, right? You can see that the uh, checkpoint uh, selection is uh, uh, grayed out, right? This one. Okay. So next what we will do is you have to go to this uh, link. I'll paste this link in the description and go and download this uh, file from the uh, Google Drive. Once this is um, in downloaded, you have to go on and extract this um, in your drive. So I have already downloaded this uh, file in my system. Let me show you the file that I have in my system and then I will extract the file also. So this is where I have my file. So this is the file that I downloaded from the Google Drive. I'll extract this and let's wait for this to complete. I'll, I'll, I'll just fast forward this so that you are not, uh, I mean, going to see all of this happen, right? So we'll save some time there. So once that is done, I will go and go to the WinSCP and um, then I'll win SCP to my VM machine and the IP address that I'm using is 192.168.1.2 and the root and eve is the default username password. Well. Then I'll go to the root folder and inside that I'll go to the OPT folder then inside that I'll go to the unit lab and then add-ons and inside add-on you have to go to chemo. So here all the nodes are I mean copy pasted okay. So now what you have to do is you have to go on and uh, browse to the uh, folder where ha you have saved and extracted the file this one so next what you need to do is okay still extracting so let's wait for this for extraction to complete uh, once this is complete you have to go on and uh, extract this uh, I mean drag and drop this file or you can see copy paste this file uh, and transfer this file inside the EVNG machine under the chemo folder okay so like this I'll drag it and okay then again it will take some time for you guys to i mean this file to be copied inside the file system of the evng and inside by side what you can do is you can go on and um, uh, run the putty session uh yeah on 192.168.1.222 and because uh, after this is i mean copied you have to type a command to fix the permissions uh, I will paste the command in the description so you don't need to worry about that. You will just uh, party to the, uh, to the EVNG machine and then you can just copy paste the command with the right click and, and just hit enter. So let's wait for this to uh, I mean complete and then we'll uh, hit the enter on this command and execute this command, right? So yeah, let's wait for this uh, copy to be finished. Okay, so as you can see, this is taking some time and yeah, let's wait. Uh, okay, so that the copy is finished with the help of the editing. I have, I mean, cropped the part where the copy happens. So I'll just um, change the font of this um, window so that you guys can also see the command. Uh, change and then I have to go to the font, yeah. Here I'll make it bold and make it around 18 and apply and apply. Oh, hope you, you can see the uh, command right now. Uh, so this is the command that you need to paste. I'll hit enter, execute the command and wait for the prompt to come back. And for security sake, I'll do it once again. So I do it twice. Uh, anyways, next what you need to do is you need to go to the EVNG GUI and refresh page once more. Okay. And now you can check the node, you will have the checkpoint there. So since checkpoint uh, uses the same image for your gateway as well as your manager, so I can take these two nodes, okay, one for the firewall, one for the manager, and I'll keep the uh, rest of the setting as default. So one I'll name as um, MGR, I'll edit and uh, name this as the MGR manager 
CPE manager. Okay, and then I'll add uh, L3, uh, sorry, L2 switch. Um, yeah, I, o, I have the Cisco IOL. Uh, oh, forgot to change the uh, thumbnail. So let's change this to the switch. Where's the switch? Where's the switch? S, 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 W, O. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, nice. Now I need um, another node. Um, uh, okay, let's change the, uh, what do you say? Uh, the name also SW so I have to go and add a node of windows okay so this is very uh, important in the case of checkpoint you need to have a windows machine as your smart console because the smart console application can only be installed on a windows machine so that's uh, something you need to remember and then yeah I'll, I'll add this on the management and um, this network so I'll keep I'll keep uh, each zero as the management interface yeah each zero here also okay once i have i'm um, completed this i can go on and um, add the gateway with the network uh, i mean the uh, this cloud network so that my gateway can reach the internet so that is for your i mean uh, lab purpose i i will just uh, um, do it as a demonstration okay i will not uh, okay N next i need to go on and turn turn on all these uh, systems one two three turn on and the switch nice and um, okay so once this is turned on i will have to go to the cli right so for that i have to double click on the on the node right so i double click here and this oh okay so if you want to um stop these things moving here and there go on and unlock the lab so now it will not move so i have the uh, cli console here and this is the firewall cli console so i have both here uh, let's wait for the firewall and the manager to boot up so that I can do the initial config and access the GUI through the Windows machine. So I'll just expand these uh, CLI icons. Oops. Uh, okay, I'll just move it here and I'll just resize this again. This one also. And I'll change the settings of the font so that you can see the command that I type in, right? So change the font here and bold and 18. Yeah, apply. Okay, apply. Next, uh, okay, on the manager also I'll do this and then um, appearance, change font, uh, bold, 18, okay, done, apply. So now let's wait for the uh, both the machines to boot up, right, in, on the CLI and um, yeah, I'll just pause, uh, I think I'll just pause the video till the time this uh, uh, manager and the mm, firewall will come up and ask for the login and login credentials right so yeah oh, okay fine let me just align these two here and this one goes here fine uh i have i mean okay enable this okay fine now that the login screen is there let me log in with the credentials of admin and password okay so let's try um, admin one two three uh let's see if that works Oh, no, it doesn't work. Let me try again with admin and admin as the password. No, it doesn't work. Okay, let me try with the admin and this will work. Test one, two, three. So capital T E S T one, two, three. Yeah, so it, it's working super. So you remember it's admin and the password is capital T small E S T one, two, three numeric. Okay, so now once this is done, now you have to you can you can check the um, uh, interface by if config. Uh, okay 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 fine so if config will be in the expert mode so you here you can do show interface and then each zero eth zero is our management interface right so interface and then space and then eth zero right uh yeah eth zero so you can see i don't have any ip address on that so let's go on and config the ip address on this so the command is set interface interface yeah I eth0 then ipv4 hyphen address and the ipv4 is 10 dot i'll keep this 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot triple 1 and the mask length is 24 right net ma okay, mask length is 24 now enter that is done let's go to the manager and configure the ip address uh, of the management interface also there so now here i'll do set interface and then eth0 ipv4 hyphen address and the address is dot 110 and the mask line 24 right 
super so we have the management interface configured on both the manager and the uh, gateway so let's go to the windows machine uh, boot it up and yeah so here the password is again i think yeah the test one two three capital t e s t one two three so let's try that and enter did i type it right or did i do any typo let's wait for a while it should i mean log in i think i type type the yeah great so let's go to the desktop mm, don't send desktop and let's change the ip address oops uh, right click here and go to the network and uh, network settings or you can just start uh, run and type the ncpa.cpl and you will land up in the interface um, i mean adapter settings here you can go to adapter settings right click properties go to the ipv4 section double click on that and uh, configure an ip address from the 10.1.1.0 subnet i'll go for um, 10 here and then the mask length it should be i mean 24 255 255 255 0 and you don't need the gateway in case it is just for the management but um if you want to use this as the test pc also then you have to give it the ip address of the gateway triple one and also the uh, name resolution um dns servers right so let's keep it 888 and 4222 hit okay okay now i should be able to access the gui of the firewall as well as the manager so i'll go to my chrome here and I'll type the HTTPS and the management IP address of uh, both of the firewall and the manager in S. I mean in uh, in the tabs. So let's go with the first one, uh, my manager dot one ten, and then I'll go with the firewall dot triple one, right? So let's access dot triple one. Yeah. So yeah, I can get the uh, certificate warning anyways proceed i uh, am comfortable with that and here also proceed yeah so let's uh log in with admin and password is test123 with the capital t login super and here also admin and password as capital t est123 login nice so now we will go to the fire manager and the uh, i mean the fire firewall initial configuration uh wizard setup right so the difference would be only that I will select manager in the uh, manager management and uh, firewall gateway in the firewall. So anyways, next here, I'll not set up the interfaces here. I'll uh, rename this host name as CP manager and I will give the um, DNS. Okay, let's give the DNS and it, 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 it. fine. Next, I can do this in the GUI also. Anyways, next. And then here I will specify security gateway and here I will uncheck the uh, gateway and uncheck these uh, automatic these logs and next an IP address is any IP and also don't send any logs fine next and here on the gateway again I will continue the same thing same I will not configure this I will change the host name to my F, uh, CPF FW1 and I don't need the DNS. So next here, next here on the time also. And here security gateway and management. And I will uncheck the management and automatic services also disabled. And yes. And here I'm using a static IP address. So I'll say yes. And here I have to configure the SIC. So this is used for the relation to set up the relation between the manager and the SIC. So when you add this firewall from the manager, you have to specify this uh, SIG password on the manager. So I will keep this, this as admin123 capital A and finish and yes. So yeah, so now you have to wait uh, so that this process is completed and then the, uh, I mean, you can access the GUI, right? So yeah, guys, and then you can download the smart console in the uh, Windows machine and then add the gateway, right? So that's it uh, for this video. Hope you liked my video, right? And for the uh, initial configs, you can uh, I mean, go to my playlist of checkpoint uh, training. And yeah.